Okay, so the next robot in this mini series of five robots you should build is the Fenrir. Now, if you missed my first video, uh, you know, covering, um, spoiler alert, the Ravana, make sure you check that out because I do cover things like uh, builds, uh, modules, drones, uh, pilot even, uh, you know, what you should use in order to make a strong Ravana. Make sure you check it out. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. Now, for this video, I'm going to be uh, pretty much doing the same thing, you know, going over uh, certain builds, which I think uh, players... Uh, should gravitate towards that you can actually build in workshop uh, also modules uh, drones and pilot as well uh, but as far as uh, this bot it has actually survived multiple meters very good at holding down beacons uh, which is why um, i would classify this in my top five as far as you know what you should build first um, i do have hammer and mace on here um, again close range you want to kind of focus on close range builds because uh, you know, you are going to be fighting most times on a beacon if you're playing Beacon Rush or Domination. So uh, that's why I have this combination here. Um, in terms of modules, nuclear amplifier, two repair amplifiers. Um, you could also try nuclear amplifier with two immune amplifiers. That works too. Uh, nuclear amplifier, actually two nuclear amplifiers in Last Stand. Um, I tend to use that more for high damage builds. Um, if I find that I'm getting locked down or like suppressed or EMP'd and stuff, then I will use an anti-control with a nuclear amplifier in a last stand. Um, in terms of the, um, you know, active modules, uh, everything from repair unit, advanced repair, you know, unstable conduit, uh, you know, for my baby account, I actually use repair unit. Uh, so it works really well. Um, as far as drones, let's take a look at what we have here in the store. So, um, you know, I tend to gravitate towards like high damage drones and some that have some sort of like resistance as well. So in the case of whiteout, this can work too. Uh, because you are fighting players at close range, it can disable and really mess with, you know, their abilities and uh, them using things like phase shift or advanced repair. So that works really well. Um, paralysis actually works really well for uh, flamethrower builds. So if you're using uh, Ember Igniter, this can work really well with that. Um, I have the beak on my one. Armadillo works. Um, Kestrel can work. Uh, Shy works really well as well. Okay, so a lot of different drones you can use. And in terms of the pilot. Okay, so for the pilot, the best pilot for the Fenrir is the Bernadette Wolf. Um, there might be another pilot in the future, who knows. Uh, but right now, this is the best pilot uh, for the Fenrir. Okay, so you want to gravitate towards, um, I want to say, more tank skills. Okay, so things like Stubborn Warrior, Armor Expert, uh, Tough Guy. If you're playing uh, Beacon Rush or Domination, I highly recommend Invulnerable Raider and Adamant Guardian. So that strengthens the defense points. Okay, so those are the skills I have on this Fenrir. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look actually at three builds. As I said, uh, these are the three builds that you can build in Workshop that I feel are the strongest out of the weapons available uh, for players. I'm actually going up against another Fenrir, which is kind of interesting. He has the uh, Harpoon build. Those weapons were kind of nerfed down, but um, although you can use it, I'm trying to focus on more like, you know, weapons you can build in Workshop. I'm trying to get the, uh, the Demeter here because the Demeter is healing him up. There we go. And now we have to deal with this Fenrir. <laughs> Fenrir versus Fenrir battle. But you know what? I think I'm getting the... The upper hand here. That should do it. Some of these guys taking care of here. Actually, wait. Hold on. I, I might need to help my teammate here. Okay, so these guys are pushing me. Hold on. I see his effect still going off. Let's try to hit him now. He took on quite a bit of damage, but he's going to... I think he has... Yep, he has his ability uh, active. I think these guys are going to be pushing... <laughs> they're going to be pushing to our uh, right flank here. It's waiting for this guy's ability to end. Okay, so you got knocked back. I might even be able to kill him. I got suppressed, though. Okay, let me just move this way, because these guys are getting pretty aggressive. I think if I... Maybe I can hit him from this angle. His ability is still active. There we go. What is this guy in? 
I activated my um, my unstable conduit because that player was a, a, a Typhon. Oh, they have a Rook here. Let's deal with that uh, shell. This guy's going to charge me. This one in front. Let me just use a heal. Let's get rid of that nether. I think this guy might kill me. I have I have too many guys shooting me here. He's on cooldown though. Ooh, he took on a lot of damage there, but I think I'm going to go down. I'm, I have just too many players hitting me. There we go. So for this particular build, what I actually have... Actually, he might drop in over here. And the thing is, I have the white art turn on here. Okay, so I, I need to heal here quickly. Hold on. Yeah, this build I have is actually very good against tanks. He has another Fenrir. I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff. Let's just do that. I should be able to win this battle though. Sonic Fenrir is better than the other the Fenrirs. Like when you're dealing with any kind of tank, this particular build is very deadly. I'm going to try to move this one. I'm not sure what this guy is in. There we go. That guy's got a Sonic uh, Ravana, which is really uh, bad news for me. Because any kind of Sonic weapon is very effective against this build. Not sure why we're giving up our home beacon back there, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just use the heal. It's gone. Still this Ravana here though. I need to use a heal here quickly. Okay, I can't hit I can't hit this uh this Archo Kochi just yet. Um he has his ability up, but maybe I can hit him now. Look at his health. We actually killed him with a Fenrir and I wasn't even full health either. Wait a minute. I'm trying to heal here. Holy crap. I need to heal quick. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to survive in this thing. This guy... I might be able to hit this guy in front of me. He moves. Ah, oh, he's just out of range. Heal! <laughs> I need to move on over to the side quickly. Oh my gosh. If I can recover my, my great damage, that would be amazing. So what I've got on this particular build, I have the white art. This way, if I get close to an Archo Kochi, it messes up his ability. Like, he won't be able to use it. Uh, and he won't be able to use, like, heals and stuff either. Okay, let's, uh... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not the pew-pew gun! I got him. <laughs> this build, I'm telling you, man, when you are fully loaded, even when you are charged up, the amount of damage you do with this is kind of crazy. Now I'm up against another Fenrir. Oh. That looks like an angler. I'm going to try to lock him down. Okay, I think... Yep, there we go. Oh, we didn't get our right side. Man, I thought we had a player here. Do we not have a play on this side? Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> we just gave up this beacon. What is this guy in? I think that might be a Mars. Ooh, okay. Yeah, one thing you got to be careful of are uh, Ravana's because if they have, like, sonic weapons, that is definitely a bad thing. Just trying to lock this guy down. So you can see how this is really just a tank. 
can uh, withstand most times it can withstand a lot of punishment you do have to kind of be careful of sonic weapons so sonic weapons are kind of the fenrir's kryptonite there we go i think they're going to drop in over here because they still have this beacon and i wouldn't be surprised if someone drops in right in front of me i didn't want to lock this guy down okay there we go let's move this way so i actually like having the paralysis on this particular build uh, because i can lock players down and the flames do a lot of damage you know once you lock a player down like you can see this guy above could you imagine like this build with the uh the ultimate igniters it very deadly i'm just melting through this guy oh my gosh look at that player I'm trying to get the uh, the Seraph, the leech. His ability is going to wear off here soon. There we go. Okay, we have a couple of nethers in center. I don't know how this is going to go. Maybe I can lock some of them down. Let's see. Ooh, this guy's taking quite a bit of damage. And I did lock. Take a look at that. I locked a couple of them down. This is why I like the paralysis on here. Oh my gosh, this guy's getting roasted. This one too. Can we get another kill? Uh, we have an Archeo Kachi here. Wait, I actually... Oh, I locked him! Look at this! Hold on. He's dead. I think I got him. Nice! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I locked... Uh, I think... Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I locked that Typhon down. I'm trying to get this type on because I don't want him to uh, to hit me here and then get me with the uh, the blackout ability. Use the heal here quickly. And his build can do a lot of damage. If I can't heal up and he hits me with that uh, blackout, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Gotta love the flamethrowers, man. It's so good. Um, I... Wait, we're giving up all our beacons. We lost our home beacon? What on earth is going on here? Oh my gosh, this hawk. He just got totally, uh, smoked. Even, even this Crisis uh, Reaper. He's trying to hit me. I'm trying to use this for cover. He's gonna... There we go. Nope. Ooh, this shell's gonna... He's gonna take on the full, uh flame effect here this is gonna roast him up he's gonna be down to his last stand uh-oh uh -oh. i need a heal i need a heal oh he has wait someone hit me with a blackout ability i got him down to his last stand nice Okay, so before I end things, I'm going to comment on this particular build because I know a lot of players are going to be asking me, you know, what about the Redeemer Tyrants? Uh, can that work too? So this build can work, although I don't think I would use this anything higher than Expert League. Um, that is when you want to kind of use your Sonic build or like the Hammer and Mace uh, because I think those uh, builds are a lot stronger. But this is very good at charging up like your Mothership, uh, also your Titan Bar because, uh, you know, I use this on my baby account and it's very effective at doing that. Uh, so I think that should wrap everything up. But uh, before I get going, in the comment section below, what do you think is going to be the next robot to be featured in this mini series? Five robots you should build. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.